Out in celebration of spending five years on YouTube, today we're going to go down some of my top four favourite YouTuber films we are. Now, YouTubers, it seems like they make films and documentaries and stuff like that here and there, but to be honest, if you actually look through the list, there is not that many stuff that they've made. Like they've probably made more series out of anything else than films. Alright, here's the intro. Now, it goes without saying, if you don't care about these videos, bye bye. But if you do, oh my goodness, don't come knocking on my door. Anyway, let's start. Number four, Not Cool by Shane Dawson. This is one of the first YouTuber films that I actually watched, I did. Now, this was released back when Shane Dawson was still actually considered famous. Um, he's not really that famous now. Well, if you're, if you like the videos that he makes on his um, Shane channel, then I guess you consider him famous. But, um, back then he released this back in either 2012 or 13, and storyline was that they left school, and and there was like a bucket list, and then Shane and this other girl, it looked like Shane had a crush on this other girl and happy ending let's say <laughs> this was um this was also had another thing to it as of um they made this but there was also something else that they made called the director's chair and it was like two directors it was one doing the other thing the other doing the other thing so to be honest that sounds complicated I don't know why Shane would actually agree to that, but anyway. It was good. Number three, Ghostmates by Smosh. Now this film got released last year, it did. And I believe before it got released, um, they announced it two months before the actual release date. Now, Ghostmates by Smosh, and also T-Pain is in this one. Shows that T-Pain's bills of how much he's getting paid is probably going down, but, it's over though, it's been kind of all but um, the storyline here is that the original owner who lived in the house died so another person moved in and then the ghost is living with this other person and he has to do a couple of things before he goes off to heaven. So yeah. What I'm about to say is that they are not technically films. Films are the stuff I just said but Films require acting, they do. They require some sort of a storyline. Because I would say a documentary or making a YouTube video is not a film. It's not, it's called a video, it is. But I'm gonna say this as of Casey Neistat's um, films and videos that he's made. He has made tons upon tons of these he has and he started quite a while back. Now, I haven't seen the stuff that he did, as of you may have seen those stuff on IMDB from the stuff he's done. But he's also been in Nerve, so I guess that's something. And number one, Laid in America by KSI and Casper Lee. Now, if you have a film that's this looking good, and you've got Universal in it, People are going to hate it, but you're also going to get people who loved it, like me. Now, I got this film on the day that it got released. Um, in fact, I paid it as of a uh, went I did, and then I watched it. And I watched some of the stream on the day that it got released. And then I watched it, and it was quite amazing. It had Comedy Shorts Gamer in it, it had Alex G. Soul. Um, oh, by the way, this got filmed in 2015, and it, 2013, and it got released in 2016. Just want to tell you that. It's also got Tate on Day in there. They've also taken in the act of, of YouTube itself, so YouTube exists in this film, which is 
That's... Oh yeah, Bob Baker's in there as well. Yeah, and he's also in the uh, music video called um, FWB, Friends with Benefits. I did a lip sync video to that once. So, yeah. But I also bought that film, eventually. I did, it took a while. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that. Now, people... YouTubers get tons of criticism as of like saying, oh hey, these YouTube films suck. Well, there are films that actually do suck. Like for instance, if you don't know how to do CGI or just bad editing skills can lead to a film being that can suck, let's say. And like, for instance, if you say that Oh, Lady in America, it wasn't very good. It's kind of like, think about it, Universal. They've made other films that you probably actually liked. So, just think about it. Do you actually don't like this film? Or is it because that you're not famous, they're famous and you're not, and you're jealous? So just, just think about it before you go ahead and upset someone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe for more of these top um, fours or fives lists. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.